hello everyone welcome back to elugrace youtube channel today i will be covering an important use case that involves integrating uipath studio web and chat gpt in most companies when we encounter system related issues we usually resort to sending an email or creating a ticket for the system admin or it team does that sounds familiar right now let's consider what happen next the admin or it team will read your system related problem and provide you with a solution where do they find this solution they might have a template for common system related issues or they might search for a solution online and then pass them on to you that's typically how it works correct however in this video i am going to demonstrate how we can automate this entire process using uipath studio web and chat gpt here what i will do let's assume i receive system issues in my mailbox once i run the bot it should fetch the email read the problem and interact with the chat gpt to obtain possible solution so by automating this workflow we can save time and streamline the process of resolving system related issues so let's get started so we need to go to uipath studio web click on this uipath studio web icon and you will get this complete page okay and here you can able to see templates projects automation runs connections so already we covered uh, uh, two use cases in this studio web and now i'm going to cover one more use case that is integrating with chat gpt so go here click on the new project okay and give the project name chat gpt uh, system issues solution something like that okay so here i added the name chat gpt system related solution provider and the description you can write it you know uh, you can give the uh, detailed uh, uh, description here and uh, paste it so here uh, there are three options we have one is manually other one is event based time based so i'm going to choose manually so even no you can choose event based let's say no i'm receiving an email uh, uh, right to to my inbox so the moment i receive an email the bot should trigger if in that case and you can select the event based okay i'm going to select manually and click on create once i click on create and i will be getting this manual trigger as a first action and now i'm going to add the gmail activity okay why because I need to read the email from my inbox. So here I have uh, my uh, Gmail, and uh, if you look at this, there is a folder called System Ex uh, System Issues, and in the System Issues there are a couple of uh, uh, samples. You no, know, I have uh, kept it here. So let's say if you go inside this one, and this is the sample email you now which is sent by Kavi. and uh, the problem is my computer has been uh, running extremely slow lately and it frequently freeze or become unresponsive so this is one problem we got and uh, there is a other problem uh, blue screen error on startup every time i start my computer i get a blue screen error with the error message blah 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 okay now uh, go back to your chat gpt uh, process and the first thing is i need to connect with the uh, gmail right so click on this and use get newest okay so get newest email because we are going to get the new email so click on this because we are going to interact with the gmail first okay and the moment you added this get uh, newest email you will get this uh, option because the connection already uh, integrated okay so because that you can see here so let's go back here and you can see the connections okay already have initiated the connections so if you not and it will ask you to configure the connections okay that you can check with my previous video 
I have successfully configured uh, this Gmail account. So that's what I can able to see this Gmail account here. And now the email folder. So I want to select the email folder where uh, my bot should read any emails, right? So I'm going to select uh, the folder called system issues and click on save. Okay, so that's it. So next, so I want to see whether it is really it is going to read the email or not. Okay. For that, I am going to use one more log message. Okay, one log message to check the result. So here we added the uh, folder here, and if you go here and uh, click on the log level trace and the text, so you can able to see the previous activity uh, properties here. So go here, expand these, and uh, so now I am going to select retrieved email body okay so retrieved email so under the retrieved email we can able to see from sender reply to and i'm going to select body because i need body i want to check whether it is retrieving email body or not okay so i selected this uh, uh, retrieved email body let's run this and see whether it is retrieving email body or not so go here and uh, click on run step by step again click on next step click on next it's ex executing a log message okay so now you can able to see here right so my computer has been running extremely slow so that is the email conversation we can able to see here okay so now we are successfully getting this uh, email body now i'm going to add chat gpt related activity to get these email body and read it and get the solution and click on this okay and type it here open ai okay so under the open ai and we can able to see a chat text completion and generate chat completions right so here i'm going to use this chat generate chat okay so click on this so the moment you click on this and it's installing and it's default no it's a uh, default it's connected with uh, my open ai so if it is not okay let's uh, delete this and i'm going to uh, remove the connections uh, which i already uh, connected here and i'm going to delete these connections okay now there is a no connections here okay now go back to project and click on your project and here click on this and click on open ai okay and here click on this generate chat completions and now you can able to see right the connect to open ai now if you click this connect to uh, open ai and it will take you to other page where you need to enter the api key okay so how to get this api key it's very simple so go to chat gpt uh, web page and go to developers option and uh, click on document sorry uh, click on the api reference you will be getting this page and here under your personal profile and uh, go here and click on the view api keys okay click on this and here already have a api key and i'm going to create one more api key that is a uh, system issues okay and chat gpt and click on generate and here is the key copy this and go back to your the page authentication page and add your api key and click on connect so now if you uh, once you added the api key and you can go and check it in your uh, connections uh, refresh it okay now you can able to see the open ai it's connected now go back to projects and uh, here okay now the connection got successful and we can able to see the open ai uh, uh, here and uh, from my uh, user account 
and uh, here the prompt okay here is the place where we can uh, write the prompt so we are going to ask the uh, uh, solutions from chat gpt uh, saying that hey i have a email body and i want to get the possible solution for this uh, problem so here i'm going to get the same email body so that we all know so we need to get the a retrieved email under the retrieved email so we are going to get the body okay so i got the body okay and i'm going to remove this the other prompt okay and here and so after this i need to write a, a prompt right so what i need so for that i'm going to write could you draft an email first no i will enter enter uh, key and then could you uh, draft an email response to the sender and outline outline possible solutions for those concerns concerns in bullet points points and with with regards system admin okay so this is my prompt so if i get the body and then if i write this followed by if i write this prompt and it will give you the solutions okay for testing purpose let's say i'm going to chat gpt i'm going here in the chat gpt window and i will show you that you know the result directly and uh, so here i have this low performance issues copy this this is the body right copy this and go to chat gpt and paste it here and after that we need to write the prompt right so then go here and copy this prompt okay and go to chat gpt and here i need to write the prompt so let me paste it in a notepad okay this is my prompt and uh, so this is my uh, body of the content this is my prompt so now copy the entire thing and go here in the chat gpt window and paste it now you see the chat gpt is providing you the better solution okay and it says uh, subject is okay and dear kavi because we uh, know the chat gpt itself know it's observed the records you know kavi and here kavi thank you for reaching out to us regarding the performance issue you are experiencing with your computer so then followed by and here you can able to see the possible solution okay so there is a one solution check for your malware or virus other free of your disk space and manage start a program so there are a couple of other possible solutions you can go through these solutions and uh, you can fix uh, your problems and best records system admin so the same thing now we are going to get it uh, uh, from chat gpt so here okay go back and okay we uh, we added the prompt here and after the prompt what should we do so we need to reply back to the email right so i got this email and i i need to reply back to kavi so it's very simple i'm going to add reply to email okay that is also from gmail reply to email okay click on this so once you click on this reply to email it's automatically uh, integrated with your gmail account and in this particular place the email to reply okay so here click on this and uh, go to this get in us email because this is the place we are getting a new email right and expand this received email and uh, go here in the received entire email okay so received email select this received email okay now you can able to see get newest email from 
received email so okay then what i need to respond so it's very simple the chat gpt whatever the response given by the chat gpt i need to give it back to the uh, user as a solution so here go here and uh, okay and expand the chat gpt and here we have a response so under the response so we have a lot of things and i need a text okay what is the text so go here and select the text okay and the response text okay i have selected here and also the reply to all so if you want to reply to all the people you can select it true or false so and also it's uh, it still save as draft so i want to send the email not a draft okay i click this so that's it now let's check whether the chat gpt is getting response and sending an email to us now go here and check email so there are a couple of emails now if you want to loop it uh, all the emails you can loop it and now uh, there are three emails and my inbox there are only three emails okay let's see and go here or click on run so in the right side you can able to see uh, no all the logs which is executing uh, your uh, uh, i mean it is executing the result okay here i got an error generate uh, chat uh, chat completion not found chat gpt4 does not exist okay so here so this is the latest uh, chat gpt4 i need to use chat gpt 3.5 let's run it again okay i think it's working now okay it successfully executed and then it's going to execute this one okay this is also executed that's great and go back to your email and check yeah we got the email response so here go here and uh, see this is the email uh, which we received from kavi and uh, the response we are sending back to kavi dear kavi thank you for reaching out whatever we have seen in the chat gpt window so that we uh, get it and you know uh, sent to you uh, sent to uh, this person okay and you can make it this uh, format as a html format as well in in a better format okay and uh, so this is how uh, we need to integrate with the chat gpt using ui path studio i hope this this session will be uh, very helpful see you in the next session with uh, some other uh, interesting topic thank you